My free tip of the day is cook, cool, and reheat your starchy foods. Potatoes, pastas, breads. Even when you freeze bread, the starch in them converts to resistant starch, which is basically a, um, uh, slows down your blood sugar um, spikes. It helps reduce the glycemic response, and it also feeds your gut microbiome. Sounds like bullshit, but it's not. This is the same fruit. Weighs the same. Ish. But this one is more ripe, it tastes sweeter, and has a higher sugar content. This one is more green, it tastes worse, but it has more resistant starch. Which isn't digested in the small intestine, but it ferments in the large intestine, producing short-chain fatty acids. It's been proposed that there are at least four or five different types of resistant starch. This would be type 2. In this video, Emily is talking about type 3, which is retrograded starch, which occurs when carbohydrates are cooked and then cooled. If you refrigerate, bread after cooking, the resistant starch content increases. And the same thing can happen with other starches like potatoes, pasta, and rice. So if the structure shifts from rapidly digestible starches to resistant starches, this could lower your blood glucose response to that meal. So what are the perks? Just like higher fibre versions of food can impact your health compared to lower fibre versions, consuming more resistant starch could have positive effects on blood glucose and insulin, inflammatory markers, bowel function, and maybe even weight management. As there are many different types of resistant starch, more research is needed to confirm which types can affect which health outcomes. But it looks promising.